Hello everyone, Team 709 here on the Nolami YouTube channel page for this week's Deck Doctor segment. Uh, this week we will be covering Arnold Bond's Chain Gadget deck. I'm sure that some people may not be excited to see gadgets again, considering I did them last week as well. Um, but uh, it, Chain Summoning has always been something kind of fun that I've always enjoyed playing, so I kind of wanted to cover it. Um, so, I mean, there's that. Um, in case you can't already tell, uh, there's one card missing in the main deck, and then there's also two cards missing from the extra deck. Um, going over the list that he gave me, there were missing cards, one from the main deck, and then, again, two from the extra. Um, so, I mean, I saw in the initial build you didn't have Solemn Warning, so I don't know if that might be the card that you forgot to put down. Um, so, I'd, I don't know. There's that, and then, again, two cards from the extra deck were missing, so I kind of added in cards for the missing spots. So, um, yeah, also before we get started, if you have, if you guys have a deck that you would like to get fixed, uh, be sure to message it here on the No Limit YouTube channel by going to the channel page, the about section, and um, clicking send message. Uh, and hopefully we can get to it in the upcoming weeks. So, without further stalling, let's just get into the main deck and, um, you know, then the extra and then move to the fixed build, etc. Uh, starting off with the monsters, we have one Machine of Fortress, one Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders, one Machina Gear Frame, two or Trap Tricks Meyer Melio, three Green Gadget, three Red Gadget, three Yellow Gadget, three Kage Takage, and three Tin Goldfish. For the spells, we have one Dark Hole, one Soul Charge, three Mystical Space Typhoon, and three Chain Summoning. For the traps, we have one Bottomless Trap Hole, one Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, one Torrential Tribute, two Trap Stun, two Dimensional Prison, one Breakthrough Skill. One compulsory evacuation device and two Phoenix chain. Like I said, there's still one card missing from the extra deck, so maybe that was the warning. I don't know. Um, extra deck we have two Gear Gargant X, one King of the Feral Imps, one Evil Swarm Excitant Knight, one Lavolvo Chain, one Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer, one Abyss Dweller, one Number 101 Silent Honor Arc, one Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, one Number 80 Rhapsody Aim Zerk, one Number 103 Ragna Zero, one Number 50 Black Strip of Corn, and one Number 104 Masquerade. Um, so that was the initial build, let's just go into the fixed build and then we'll ex explain changes once we've covered it. Um, so starting off with the monsters, we have two Machina Fortress, one Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders, two Machina Gear Frame, three Green Gadget, three Red Gadget, three Yellow Gadget, three Kage Takage, and three Tin Goldfish. For the spells, we have one Soul Charge, three Mystical Space Typhoon, three Chain Summoning, one Book of Moon, and two Forbidden Chalice. For the traps, we have one bottomless trap hole, two dimensional prisons, one compulsory evacuation device, three vanities emptiness, two Phoenix chain, and one solemn warning. For the extra deck, we have one mecha fantasy streak sack, one number 11 big eye, one stellar knight delteros, one number 103 ragna zero, one king of the feral imps, two gear Gargan x, one number 50 black ship of corn, one number 101 silent honor arc, two castell the sky blaster musketeer. One Evil Swarm Excitant Knight, one Lavolvo Chain, one Abyss Dweller, and one Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. So, let's just quickly get into what we changed from the main deck. Um, we dropped the two Meyer Melios, the two Trap Stuns, the Dark Hole, the Nightmare, um, the Breakthrough Skill, the Torrential, the Masquerade, and the Rhapsody of Berserk um, from the extra deck, at least those last two. Um, things that we added were three Vanity's Emptiness, two Forbidden Chalice, one Machine of Fortress, um, one Machina Gear Frame, the Book of Moon, the Solemn Morning, the Draco Sack, the Big Eye, the Deltaros, and another Castell. Um, I kind of want to mention quickly on the Castell, I've actually been considering a second Feral Imp, um, just because it's kind of hilarious if you happen to go Gadget and Takage and then to play the Chain Summoning, um, you can use um, the two that you summon to bring out Feral Imp, bring out a, you know, another Kage, and you'll obviously have the other gadget, so you'd be able to just make another Feral Imp, and then you can make something else off, off of, you know, your other summon, of course. Um, but yeah, it's something that I've kind of considered, but Castells is something I've preferred, um, so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Uh, the two Machina thing, um, my Armelia is one of those cards that, like, if you wanted to, you could respond with it, like, M like you could respond with MST or something, um, and then immediately be able to play the chain summoning afterwards. The same thing kind of applies with, like, Compulse. You can Compulse their monster, as well as get your effect off, stuff like that. Um, Gearframe kind of does the same thing, but playing more than, like, one of each of the Machina things allows you to have that, like, rank 7 play a little bit more often than normal, um, and... 
Because you were missing two originally from the initial build I had. But I kind of assumed that it might be a Draco sack and a big guy. I don't know exactly, but um, just kind of figured that that might be what they were. Um, so just having the two gear frames allowing you to get into your fortresses a little bit quicker um, is kind of nice to have. And whenever you play three of each gadget, you're gonna you're gonna have multiples from time to time. Um, usually it's gonna happen at least one out of your three games every match. Um, at least from my past experience, of course. But um, having the fortress to be able to take care of that is usually nice as well. So um, that's part of the reason why we added in the you know extra machinist stuff. Um, I think that was about like the main, only major thing that we changed in the monsters. Uh, for the spells, Dark Hole seems a bit unnecessary. Regeki is now back at one. If you decided you really needed something monster like removal-ish for spells, Regeki would be a, an obviously better choice. Um, but considering you don't see it in the main deck, it's something I would probably put in your side. Um, and instead of that, we ended up adding in uh, Chalices and Book of Moon. Of course, Chalice is a good respond, like a responsive card. Uh, you can use it against Shadals again. Obviously, you can attack into it. Oh, you got a flip effect. Well, I'll activate during damage calculation or whatever. Shut it down and be able to, you know, prevent them from making a play with their Shadal monster. Not to mention, it allows you to make something bigger than something that they potentially have. And there's also the fact that you can use it to kind of help with the chain summoning thing. If you find yourself needing it, you could summon activate something or whatever you could either negate your own card for whatever reason if you want to go for the chain summoning thing or you can you know negate one of your opponent's monsters and just like run it over or something i don't know you, you get what i mean though you can use it as a way to force the chain summoning because it has to be chain link three so you could summon like a gadget or a gear frame play chalice on like one of your opponent's monsters and then you can just play chain summoning um that kind of thing the same kind of applies with book of moon um but they're also like as a whole, the, the, those three are just really good responsive cards to play as well. So, just overall really good cards. Um, for the traps, we have, like I said, we dropped the Trap Tricks, Trap All Nightmare, the Breakthrough Skill, and the Torrential. Um, you're playing basically the 2-2 negation thing in the form of 2 Chalice and 2 Fiendish. Fiendish is kind of good against things like, um, what's it called? Uh, Nephilim, uh, or Construct, like whatever name you want to go by. Um, they can't attack over something and they don't get bigger you know off of um you know chalice if you decide to finish it of course um it also prevents them from attacking things like that so uh, it, i'm still kind of iffy on finish chain breakthrough skill right now um you're welcome to go back and forth between the two obviously they're both really good um finish is something that i've been kind of preferring at, for the time being but um you could probably go with breakthrough skill still to kind of you know help you in situations where you might need that added, you know, negation. Um, it's still kind of being tested back and forth, but Phoenix is what I currently had, so it's going to be in here still. Um, so yeah. Um, we also added in Vanities. Um, Vanity's just a disgusting card right now. We also added in um, Warning, um, but that's kind of self-explanatory. Yay, Screaming Kids. I really don't like my neighborhood. I really don't, but whatever. Um, no one cares about that. Um, Vanities, again, it's just a solid card. You can chain with it if you really need to. Um, you know, just like, oh, you're going to play your soul charge. Well, no, I'm going to negate, or I'm going to do something. You know, I'm, no, I'm just going to flip Vanities and say, no, you're not doing it. Um, Vanities is just one of the most amazing cards right now, and I really don't think I need to explain it all that much. But, um, yeah, it's just something that... I feel like this deck needs and I also ran the initial build by Robbie and he definitely said that you needed three vanities so um, considering the fact that we were both in agreement that vanities needed to be in here it's something you should definitely be playing um, this deck's not meant to be one of those like OTK base type of things it's more along the lines of um, you want to be able to also be prepared for like mid and late game assuming that your opponent has answers for anything that you might be able to do early and of course mid game of course late game it, that's where the grind kind of starts to come in but you know there's not much that can really be done about that whenever it gets really late into a game it, it becomes more of like a grind thing rather than you know but um yeah so, like I said, for the extra deck, we dropped the Masquerade and the Rhapsody and Berserk. Uh, Rhapsody is something I'm still kind of iffy on, um, but um, I kind of liked what I had changed it up with, which was the um, Deltaros. Um, I kind of am still kind of back and forth on, like, you know, again, between the two. I, I, they're both really good cards in their own sense. Um, Deltaros is a good way to just kind of blow up a card every turn. It's got a decent attack and defense, of course, and, you know, 
it's just nice to have. Not to mention, it's not that difficult to summon in this deck with um, like the whole tin goldfish, Kage Takage, and all that other crap with chain summoning. Um, so I mean, having a card that's not, you know capable of blowing something off the board is always nice. Um, so I mean, there's that. I mentioned again um, that we added in the second Castell. Really good card. Uh, you can detach one to put a threat that you can just run over into face down defense position, or you can return any card that's face up on the field to the owner's deck. And, um, I mean, why not? Uh, returning major threats to the extra deck is nice in the form of, like, exceeds or whatever. And just anything that, you know, you don't want them having on their board, you can put it back into their deck or whatever if you want. So, I mean, it depends on, like, your situation, I guess, and, you know, how much you can get out of it. So, I mean, there's that. But like I said, um, it'd be kind of fun to do the second King of the Feralimps with the plays with, you know, the chain summoning and then the gadget and Takage Takage play. Um, it's just kind of hilarious on my, in my opinion, but, you know, that's just me. And like I said, you were missing two already, um, and I had just instantly assumed that it might be the um, Draco Second, the Big Eye, which are the other cards that we added into, your, or into the deck as well. Um, you're playing enough seven play here to kind of um, get it out. So, I mean, if the situation ever calls for it, you have the ability to make either or. So, I don't know. That's my opinion. Usually, it's kind of like a mandatory thing in all decks that kind of run Redox and multiple fortresses. But, at least from what I see anyways. But that's, again, just me. So, I don't know if there's anything else I need to kind of cover. Um, I think I covered everything for the most part. Um, so, yeah. I do hope that the fixed build works for you and anyone else that decides to play it. I know chain summoning is fun. I don't know about anyone else, but I do kind of enjoy it, despite the fact that you know it hasn't really done anything important over the years. It's still been a lot of fun to kind of play here and there. Um, so yeah, I hope that anyone that you know plays the fixed build or even the initial build, you know, with like the 40th card, of course, in there and all that, um, enjoys playing the deck. It's it's a fun deck. Um, so yeah. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have a deck that you want to get fixed, be sure to message it here on the Nolan YouTube channel by going to the channel page, the About section, and clicking Send Message. Uh, send it in the form of either like a typed out thing, Monster Spells, Traps, Extra Deck, or you can send it to us as or via Dropbox through um, you know the YDK file in Death Row or Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Um, they'll all, of course be welcome. Um, so yeah, like I said, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is Team Seven Zero Nine signing out.